All right. Well, let me try. Let me try to remember the Sith, the Sith code. Um. Shit. There is the Solarian. I think. Damn it! I'm gonna have to think about it because. <laughs> Should I, I look it up? So what are we supposed to do now? Oh hi, Ashley. Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Uh, what's going on? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Are you kidding? Oh, that's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? <laughs> great, Caden. I told the Council to send a fleet. Well, we kind of do count as a fleet. Uh, we've been clearing house on every planet we've gone to. The message was a little unclear. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. <laughs> I lost half my men investigating this place. Oh dear. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. Oh it's fuck! A research facility here, but it's crawling with geth and very well fortified. Well, <laughs> apparently this just got real. Is he here? Have you seen him? Can you no, give me his autograph? Geth are everywhere, and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility. There's no doubt about that. Man, I don't like this. What's Saren researching? No, sir. I don't like it. He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. What? How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What? Yeah. Things just got worse. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. It's not your problem. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. So, now, you see how this is set up. Yeah. Um, Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the right. upcoming mission. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Let me uh, actually get some new armor from him. We need to get that license. Skill too low. Yeah, we don't have we don't have other characters with us right now. Okay, um, I'm gonna throw everything that we were in talking about out the window for a second because this is a very important thing. Mm. When you originally played Mass Effect Two, um, you were given a uh, the comic version of this. Yeah. Uh, can I tell it? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Um, I. My brother was the one that got me into Mass Effect. He told me to play it. I didn't have an Xbox. I had a PS3. At the time, only Mass Effect 2 was available on the PS3. And so uh, I, got the PS, I got the PS3 version. It came with the motion comic that recaps the events of this game. There is very little context for the decisions you can make in the, in the motion comic. They give you the barest amount of information. And this mission was part of the information in the comic. And I was given a major choice to make on this planet in this moment in the game. And I, um... And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. I wouldn't do this otherwise. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we 
we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. On a silver platter, buddy. On a silver platter. A so, thousand XP for that one conversation. Yeah, that is one of the most critical conversations in the entire game. Um, if your diplomacy skills are not that high, you can go do his loyalty mission and you get a free pass to passing that. Mm-hmm. Um... I had the points. I didn't remember completely, so I went ahead and got the points just in case it didn't work out. But, um... Yeah. Rex is a big deal. If you lose him, it radically changes the tone of part of the next two games, actually. Yes. Um, and I, I realize that now, like, now that I look back and have the, uh, the benefit of seeing the context, the true context for this whole situation with Rex... When I saw the motion comic, he was just a character in my crew. I didn't know anything about any of my characters, any of my crew members, as characters. So when the time came for the motion comic to be like, okay, so you count, you corner your friend, your friend, uh, you corner your crewmate Rex who wants the genophage cure, but the genophage was manufactured specifically to keep his race, his violent race, in check. So I'm looking at that from that very cold, calculating standpoint and going. So we can't have the Krogan breeding. We just can't because they're dangerous. So I'm going to have to kill him to prevent the cure from being spread. So I picked the option in the motion comic to kill him. And I didn't think much more of it. And then I went to play Mass Effect 2. And then I moved on to play Mass Effect 3. And of course Rex is not alive for 2 and 3. So the events that unfold during um, the next two games played out a lot differently than if I'd kept Rex alive. And looking back, if I'd played Mass Effect 1 first, I would never have killed him. If I had the ability, if I had done his mission and or if I had the Paragon or, or Renegade points, I would have done everything I could to reason with him the way you just did. Yeah, because you find out from his character and just talking to him on the ship that just he Just how is, bad the genophage really is. Well, that and he's not like most Krogan. He's a visionary. Yes. He wants peace and he wants... He, he actually says in a conversation, it's really important, that he wants the Krogan to prioritize breeding instead of war. Which for a Krogan yeah, is really... Yeah. His own dad tried to kill him violating their sacred ground to do it just because he had that deep of a philosophical divide between him and his son and it, it's like it, it yeah <laughs> i really want i can't wait to play through the rest of the series with you now that you see what he's like mm -hmm. so you can see the shock waves of that decision we just made and we'll get to it we'll get to it someday I mean, obviously, since I'm leaving for a trip, there's probably going to be a pretty sizable gap between us playing through Mass Effect 1 and 2, but we'll we'll come back to it, and you'll get to see what it's like having Rex around, mm -hmm. as opposed to not. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Uh, you've got a plan. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where? Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Hmm... You're no, right. I like it, actually. It, we, we're one ground team. Um, we've had to deal with this before. It's mm -hmm. not a big deal. Good. Okay. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide Do my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. The shadow? Man, that really, that really puts them at odds, though. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. <sighs> okay. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. 
I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, wait a second. Ash is the Gunnery Chief? Yeah. W what does Caden do? Is he like the special ops? Caden's Lieutenant Commander. He's just a lieutenant. Well, she's got to have a rank too. But I mean... She specializes in being the gunnery chief. Does Caden specialize in, like, ground operations or something? Uh, yeah, Caden, have... Caden is technically uh, the Sentinel class, so he has technological skills. Okay. So Ash is right mission. that he might be better with the nuke. Ash is completely right. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Okay. Um, take Ashley. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance. We don't need you stealing my spotlight. On its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Now I'm good to go. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then, if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. <laughs> you too, Commander. <laughs> Kane's just we'll like fine, bitch. We'll yeah, I just. Good luck. What's up? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I don't know. It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Let's get gas! <laughs> Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. Insert the Gurren Logan music. Yeah. <laughs> you all know the mission and what is at stake. Oh, the Gurren Logan music would be great right here. I each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. There will come a day when the courage of Solarians fail. This is a really good speech. I know, I've, I've seen it. the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our Captain Kier, he's a badass. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni. <coughs> before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan. <coughs> before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. The main reason I don't like hearing every NPC shouting hold the line in this game is because it diminishes how awesome that speech is. <laughs> yeah, another thing that diminishes that awesome speech is he's like, we held back the Ragni, and Shepard's like, shit. We the Ragnar is still alive. Oh, well, we, we at least got rid of the Krogan. The Krogan just got cured. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> we're, we're working on the cure. Um, affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push.